Have you heard of tangrams? I had not, but sure had fun creating with them for the cards that I share in this video. Hello and welcome to Karen's Creative Cards on YouTube. I am Karen Hashik and I love discovering new ideas for card making and tangrams or Chinese puzzles were new to me. I saw a beautiful swan card and a kitty card made by a Creales design team member and I decided to purchase this die she used to make her cards. It is this square Chinese puzzle die and in her video she was looking at patterns I now know are tangrams. Now tangrams are is a, is a set of seven geometric pieces in different shapes and sizes that form a square. So as you can see this is a square and it has seven different pieces and with the tangram hundreds of different figures can be formed but the rules require that all seven of the pieces must be used and no more and they cannot be superimposed on each other. So a tangram is of Chinese origin and is said to date back to the Ming Dynasty. It actually is kind of a game that you can play with your kids or whatever and see what they can form. Um, I started searching Pinterest and I was blown away by the animals and geometric figures and abstract objects and everything that can be made by simply rearranging these seven geometric shapes. I created a Pinterest board with all that I found and there's a link in the description box to that as well as to my blog post with more details on all the cards I created and the products featured. So all the cards I created with this Creales Chinese puzzle die also feature foil cardstock and many embossing folders. Foil cardstock embosses just beautifully as you're going to see from many of my card samples. Now, foil cardstock is available all over the place, but I happen to find several packages of different colors at Michael's in their recollections. Um, collection and so and priced very very reasonably um, and so I've been using that a lot on my cards and um, this first one is obviously a horse so um, I am loving the the look of embossing the foil and then also sometimes embossing the figure as well and I did that um, in making this horse and then I actually raised it up so it was above the other um, layer. So this is one of my favorites and it's a butterfly and um, obviously I created the butterfly in um, like a rainbow foil and then the background was embossed with a beautiful embossing folder. This uh, spoke to me it's like a candle or uh, I'm not you know sure exactly what you'd call it but it just it said peace to me so I embossed the gold pieces and added the word peace on a circle card. A few weeks ago um, I showed in a video how to make four page book binding cards after learning how, how from Sam of Mix Up Crafts. So I used that style of card to show four different cat tangrams for this Christmas book card for a cat lover I know. So the f it's it's a four page book in essence and it has uh, four different kitties. This one is standing up of course and I'm saying wishing you a perfect and here's another cat. There actually was a Pinterest uh, picture of a quilt that had like nine different cats used made with the tangram. So I chose my favorite four um, kitties. This one is Possum and it's again standing up and each one is embossed with a different embossing folder and then my last one says have a meowy holiday season with a kitty um, laying down. So um, that was fun to make and um, this book card is for a special young man I know and um, I created um, again the four pages because there was four different ways that um, he could be transported. So I'm asking where will your rocket take you? Where will you go this time in a sailboat? And look um, 
you could even do all the letters of the alphabets and all the numbers. So again, I've pinned those boards, but I personalize this by creating his name E V A N. And um, you could put, uh, you could make any word or name you might want to use do with, again, just these seven pieces. And in this case, I debossed the sail. Boat, um, out of green foil. Where will you go? What will you ride? Will it be a helicopter? On your next adventure, and there's a jet plane, um, uh, again with foil, um, and then what's even more fun is on the back I ask, what can you build? And I have a package here of all different colors of the tangram pieces that the child could use um, he could create his own um, tangrams, or he could just um, copy ones that I put on the card to get started and um, even do his name. So I thought that was kind of a fun way to make a card for a child um, and encourage creativity. Um, so here's a quick look at some other um, ones that I did that I didn't make cards with. So I showed you, you know, the kitties and the rockets and everything, but um, I'm going to show you quickly. Here's a swan, and that was the one that I saw first um, and a beautiful card that made me want to try this. And here is a rabbit. What amazes me is you take the seven se same seven pieces and you come up with um, obviously animals and objects and everything and they're all different sizes too so it's the same seven original pieces but now this one and that's why I made a note here this one is five and a half inches tall by three inches wide so depending on what size card you're going to make um, I had to pay attention to that and here's a giraffe and I was experimenting on my templates with different embossing folders um, just to see how they would look and here is a turtle again embossed and this is uh, about four and a half inches tall by four and a half inches wide so it's just to me really interesting how they are the same shapes but they obviously form totally different things here is a woman running but then here is another woman running and there was actually a set of I don't know a dozen different females and males um, figures doing different things and each one was different um, but they all have uh, connecting pieces and all using the same seven pieces and here is a goose and here is a puppy dog and look how long he is he'd be perfect on a slimline card but there were other dogs that were um, not quite so long so I don't know I found it fascinating and I am going to show um, how to make a card with this um, idea Um, I have started with, I'm going to make a round uh, easel card, and I um, have cut it out with a large round die, and I fold it in half, and it's ready to go to make the easel. Um, I am going to um, make a... Um, what this looks like a flower to me. Now, um, the original tangram that I... Uh, that I put in my uh, Pinterest board said it's a propeller and of course it can be a propeller but um, I um, decided it looked like a flower to me and that's what I'm going to create um, it is interesting also to note that there is um, obviously two triangles so here's the pieces I'm going to use to make the flower there's two large triangles there are two um, smaller triangles there's a medium size there's a square and then this is a parallelogram this piece i um when you're using paper like this this um foil cardstock it's white on the back and this glitter cardstock too is different on the back than it is on the front this piece often had to be flipped um when you were cutting it because um and when you did then you had 
no no glitter or no foil so um, what I discovered was um, that if you cut them the Chinese puzzle from the back of the cardstock so in other words from this side then all the pieces are fine because this is the way you want it and the rest of them you know triangles and squares they flip and they're exactly the same so anyway I thought I'd share that tip with you so um, um, foil and glitter cardstock doesn't handle um, glue very well. Um, I often was using glue and putting these together, but that doesn't work well on this um, paper. So um, I have put uh, score tape on the back of these. And um, what I do is I take my template and then I lay my pieces out um, and paying attention to the pattern. And then um, I am taking a small triangle and putting that there and then next to it is a square and next to that is another small triangle and then on this side we have the larger triangle and that's going down and then we have the parallelogram and that um, is like that. So if I had cut it with the glitter on the front, this um, would have not, it would have not um, fit and it needed to be flipped. So um, there we have our, in my case, I'm saying it's a flower. So um, all I'm going to do is remove the score tape and then attach it to the foil circle and um, this whoops it goes like this okay so the um, line these need to touch and then this line goes straight with this one and then this is going to touch And each one of these shapes uses the exact same geometric shapes to create something different. And there really are hundreds, if not thousands, of them out um, on the internet um, for you to find. Mm. So now I am going to do one of my favorite um, techniques that I like to do with um, embossing folders and that is to um, uh, run this through um, and make like an inlaid embossed pattern um, on the whole thing. Um, all 3D embossing folders are different um, and I just make myself a note right on the embossing folder that this one in particular needs one glass and the adapter plate and two shims in my Vagabond. Now some of the real thick ones only will allow just one glass but in this case to get a good pattern and I have that off camera here um, set up
and we have put this beautiful, it's an all to new angled mosaic pattern into the whole front of that um, card and it's inlaid the pattern right into the embossing. Now I'm going to um, attach this to the bottom of this to make an easel card. set up and be a little more patient, right? Okay, while it sets up, I'll show you that um, I'm going to hold the easel um, up with the layered word celebrate which is a die from dies to die for and once again i've used that red foil um, and i have um, pop dots on the back um, that are going to hold that up so that the easel um, stands up for display make sure this is now set and it's going to stand up and um, I'm going to put the word celebrate down here that is popped up and that will hold that um, pretty flower up there. Um, I decided to use some older um, flowers that I um, had in my stash from years ago um, to decorate and um, so I'm going to take a white one and put that in the center of this flower and then I have some gems from Gina Marie Designs which is my favorite um, gems to use they're sparkly and they come in three different sizes and I use them all the time and then on the inside, um, I am going to add a couple red ones. With glue dots, just to decorate that a little bit. And to continue in my flower theme, rather than a propeller, right? I see a flower. What do you see? <laughs> and how would I make a propeller card? I suppose I could. For my young grandson, maybe. But I like the flowers. So I have my pretty inlaid flower in that um, embossing, embossed foil. And then um, it stands up for display and is an easel, circle easel card. I could make cards with swans or turtles or a goose or a dog or men or women shapes or letters or numbers. The possibilities are really endless. I hope my cards inspire you to give some of these ideas and products a try. Thanks for watching, sharing, and subscribing. And thanks too for helping me share the joy of creativity.